I've been riding on a daydream. So we're in the Rockwood 2899KS. This is a 2022, and we've been putting this off for uh, three, months. three months. We've been it, living in it full time for three months now, and we have an option that uh, we added and we love it. Now, here's the thing. We already did some of the highlights on this RV when we did a quick walkthrough. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. But uh, just recently, I did one on the cargo carrier that's on the back. It does a great job, a little on the heavy side, and that's a reoccurring theme with a lot of these options because we optioned this thing up heavy. This has got so much stuff on it. When I say heavy, that has two meanings heavy on the options as far as the list and heavy as far as the weight but this option here what does Heidi think about it I absolutely love it she I I'd have to agree and, and it's a complete different way of living that we didn't realize could be had in an RV you're gonna have people that are no 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 but I'm gonna tell you for us it's yes 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 so what is it that we're in the bedroom is it the bed is it the TV is it uh, the second air conditioner? No, it is the washer and dryer. The washer and dryer. And a lot of people don't know that in Rockwood Fifth Wheels, uh, what the washer and dryer looks like. I'm going to give you full disclosure. Some models, if you option in a washer and dryer, you may get a single unit, yeah. uh, a unit that is a combination washer and dryer, meaning that you would put your clothes in it, you would start it, it would fill with water, it would wash the clothes. Once the clothes are already washed and spun dry, then it turns into a dryer automatically and it dries the clothes. Now there's pluses and minuses to that. Uh, one of them being is you can just throw the clothes in the washer and you can leave and when you come back for the day, uh, the clothes are gonna be dry. You don't have to worry about switching them or anything. The thing is that we found that those might be a little bit lesser on capacity and a little bit less efficient, I guess. Now in this model, we have a separate washer and dryer. And although it added extra weight to the RV, it also took away some of our closet space. It took away a lot of closet space that we have. We still have plenty, plenty of wardrobe space. We still have a lot of clothes, you know, considering that we have a dresser here. We have the hanging wardrobe, we have two drawers, and we have shelves above the washer and dryer, which you'll see in a minute. But we did take away the uh, storage that was in the front of the RV, inside the RV, which we'll see. But, it man, was worth it. it was well worth so it. So, in the front of the RV, this is what it normally looks like. You have your bed to the left, you have the dresser here, and this is the, the same layout on a couple of the other RV models that are the uh, bed slide. And now, uh, we have a queen slide. Uh, queen bed that's on a slide. You could have a king bed. We could have optioned in a king bed But if you have a bed slide and you have a front of the RV that looks like this um, This is the option of what it looks like. This is the washer side Behind these mirrors would be just storage in here. There's a hanging clothes rack that's up there uh, That you can still see um, But this would just be all opened up for storage, which is nice. It's a it's a nice thing to have you can still see we have clothes that are up here. We have some other odds and ends that are up here. We have storage over here. There's still room. So this is the washer. Now, what we did when we first got it was we made some adjustments. Um, it wasn't turned quite sideways enough for us to open up whenever that door was open. We couldn't open that up all the way. It would actually stop it. And that made it a little bit difficult. Uh, so we did turn it slightly sideways and then remount it on the floor, uh, which was very easy to do. Um, it also allowed the door to open uh, more full than what it was prior. This is plenty. We've been living just fine with it being like this. And the unit itself, we were concerned because we heard so many different horror stories about... Oh, I don't know. You can have leaks and, you know, if it fails, how do you get it out and how do you replace it and all that extra weight and don't work that well. They're not efficient. They barely can wash any clothes. It takes forever. It's so long. And I'm going to tell you that we haven't experienced any of that stuff. Leaks can happen regardless. I don't care. And yes, this is another piece of equipment 
that you add to the unit that potentially could cause leaks but for what you get it is well worth it so we've looked at the washer here you can see here's the water hookups there's the drain uh, the drain goes down and it's basically through the pass through and then to your gray tank the primary gray tank now one thing that would be nice is if this went into like the secondary gray tank where the kitchen water goes because we have two gray tanks on here and the one gray tank all it does is handle what is in the kitchen the kitchen sink and that's it um, the only th it's not a big deal you just got to pay attention if you wash a couple loads of clothes and you take two showers probably a good idea to go out and uh, empty your gray tank just in case now of course for boondocking and stuff you're not using this you're not using your onboard water you're not boondock washing it's not happening it, it just it's not a good idea at all on any level but the washer itself you can see the brand here Splendid um, of course we know that that might be outsourced somewhere but it's a very good unit we don't have much issues with it and it's base it's very basic I mean you just turn it on you set it for the wash that you want you hit push which is a play button believe it or not and then it just goes to town it's very quiet um, we could do clothes at you know when we go to bed at night and it's not annoying at all now Heidi has had a lot of experience with the washer what's the secret to the clothes oh well here this is like a couple outfits this is like a small load yes because I whatever washer and dryer I have I take it to the limit yes so what's <laughs> I, the most the most is probably I wash like four towels and washcloths together and it did great four full-size bath towels yeah our bath towels aren't small yes and they're thick yeah so they did four of those and the washcloths yep. and it did okay yeah i've done 14 uh pillowcases yep i've done the sheets i actually done the flat and the fitted sheet in here that would be the limit i i actually have a blanket down there that i want to put in here and try it out I just may do that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so Heidi's going to throw these clothes in here and get them started just so you can get an idea of what it's like, uh, the noise level, uh, what she's got to go through. I don't know if you haven't added soap or nothing nope. yet. And then we'll, we'll once this starts, we'll go ahead and take a look at the dryer. Um, I just put it on the smallest uh, level of soap. I actually Yeah, don't. these are high efficiency washers. Yeah, I don't. Uh, they did give you extra lighting. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I always forget that. <laughs> They give you lighting in the door so you can see a little bit better. So you just close that. Yeah, you have a lot of settings to pick from. I'll turn it on. And like the regular one I, I do a lot is an hour and 20 minutes. So it will run about an hour and 20 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer. Uh, depends on how it gets uh, balanced in the washer and the spin cycle. So talking about the spin cycle, when we have our awnings out on the RV, <laughs> and we're completely stabilized and level and everything else. We're on concrete, we have snap pads on the feet of our levelers. The RV will move. And when I say move, it will rock back and forth. You will feel it rocking. What it feels like to us whenever we're in it and it's in a spin cycle, not all spin cycles. Like this spin cycle, I expect us not to feel very much on, um, mm -hmm. but we'll still know when it spins. And what it reminds me of is every time we feel that spin cycle, the first thing I think of is, is it windy outside? Do I have the awnings out? Because that's what it kind of feels like. It feels like the wind is catching the awning and it's moving it. You have a, um, you can change the spin speed and uh, you can delay start and you can do an extra rinse. Um, we don't have any fancy clothes or any special care that we need to do on our clothes. Um, if we did, if they don't turn out in the washer, we're not meant to have them. <laughs> right. And the other thing is, uh, you saw over here, we have two, because you do have hot and cold. Yeah. So, if you, of course, if you're going to run a hot cycle, you need to have your hot water tank yep. on um, your heater, your water heater. I'm just going to do the lightly soiled. There's a few, like active wear, like when we sweat a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lightly soiled regular express but i'm going to do a lightly soiled one it's only 25 minutes long i know from being at home the quick wash was always something that you shouldn't use whenever you had heavier clothes 
it should be lighter objects. I mean, I I just read that on our washer at home. I don't know about this one. I it probably is. I didn't read the instructions. And it does have an efficiency. I don't know if you can see this in here. I, do, I can barely see it myself. It says it uses 85 kilowatt hours. That's the average use. Um, it's on the low end of the scale, the energy guide. It says yearly expenditure of far as electricity, $7. Um, yeah. You know, we're at the campgrounds and we don't see electricity wise. I don't, this is not a major draw. Yeah. It's not a microwave. It's not a rooftop air conditioner. It's not the hot water tank heating element. It is not a major draw like that. It does use electricity, obviously, to spin motors and stuff. And there is a draw involved, but... Um, but if man. you're on the fence about getting a washer and dryer, you should just, if you're on the fence, you should just get it. Now, we can only speak if it's a separate yes. washer yes. and a separate right. dryer. And that's because that's what we but have. But we heard so many horror stories, and we're like, why would anybody even buy these things? Yeah. Because we are Encore Thousand Trails members, and we like staying in campgrounds. Yeah. Every place we go has a laundry. Yeah. They have laundry facilities available. The thing is, is you've got to go deal with that. You've got to go. But again, this is an option that if you're thinking about it, we say yes. We would, if we have another unit and the option is a washer and a dryer, we're going to say yes immediately yeah, because sure. it has saved us. We no longer have to go anywhere. And the nice thing is you just throw your clothes in there. Go ahead. You can, I'll let Heidi start the load. So you don't have to... Uh go to the laundry and get your laundry card and put your card in and it not work or the internet be down or you don't have quarters because they don't take the card. Uh, it, just a lot of reasons not to go to the laundry. I hate going to the laundromat. I mean, we had a washer and dryer at home for so long and when maybe Michael was waiting on a part for the washer or the dryer, I just absolutely dreaded going to the laundromat now we do still have to go to the laundromat for our uh bedding yeah the heavy uh, the, the um comforters, comforters and uh the heavier blankets so but this definitely i run a load of laundry almost every day i don't i don't have a laundry day see that that's the best part yes whenever we just throw something in there if hey. we're just like powing around here i i do a load of laundry yeah. If we're sitting watching movies at night, I do a load of laundry. When Michael's uh, editing videos, I don't do laundry. Yeah, because <laughs> of the movement, I'm, I'm working on the computer, and, and it gets a little annoying when that computer, the screen is, is moving in front of you. It's, it's just annoying. So we got the wash going. You can hear this is about how quiet it is. The water will start running in here shortly, but we'll go to the dryer now on the other side. Uh, if Heidi moved the door. Now, the, here's the thing. Somebody had said, and it's true, um, they said, oh, you should put an accordion door in here. That way you can move your wash, you know, from one side to the other. Okay, I guess we will open this because you can hear it now. Yeah, it's running in from the back. So that's the amount of noise that have. So we'll, maybe we'll check, give you a noise level on the agitation part. So the dryer itself. Um, again, you can see it uses 235 kilowatt hours. Uh, that's a little bit on the high side. This one is a, a, a decent draw. I mean, it's not crazy. We haven't had any issues. This does not run on 12 volt. This runs on electricity. This runs on when you are plugged in at the campground. So unless you want to do a complete battery conversion thing and get a different inverter, um, you're not going to run this on solar or anything like that. Um, and it's really, it's, it seems senseless at that point. I mean, if you're boondocking, but again, as far as the size, very generous size, all stainless inside, just like the drum was on the washer and it's quiet. To, yeah. Oh yeah. Lint. It's real easy to, but this, it's a very she can simple, make uh, go ahead and turn it on and we can, oh, yeah, you can hear what very, it sounds like. Very simple. Uh, this is a uh, low and high. I always keep it on high and uh you the just thing, dial it in to how many minutes you want and then you push push the start button the only thing that i don't care for that on this one which doesn't yeah. make any sense i understand why it does it but i wish it wouldn't and that is it stops and then changes direction stops changes direction and it, and it does that quite a bit i think it only does it when there's clothes in there right because it, it doesn't look like because usually it's but it doesn't do that after i don't know if it's like fluffing them and getting, I don't know why it does it. Right. 
I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure either. But it, it dries very well. So, that's what the dryer's like. We'll go back to the washer. Yeah, I don't know, again, if you guys are going to be able to see this necessarily, but the clothes are pretty much getting saturated. And that's it. I, I don't think that there's really much involved with this that makes us uh, regret it on any level. I mean, as far as how much weight was involved, yes. I've added probably uh, 200 pounds maybe up front. Uh, not all of it makes it to the pin weight. Some of it, of course, goes to your axles. Um, but I it's don't have a problem it. with that. I mean, we have, we have a truck that easily can handle the extra. But the uh, whole idea is that you don't have to go to the laundry that's at the campsite. And we want to dispel a lot of the... Uh, yeah. The people that, oh, they're horrible. They don't work. They don't do a good job. I'm telling you, I don't know if it's a different brand or if they're not doing using it correctly or if they've got horrible water pressure or something. I don't know what the deal is. We'll put but, the model numbers in of these. But, I, again, this is something that if you order a Rockwood and you're looking at washer and dryer options and you're going to get a separate washer and dryer, this is what you're going to get. Yep. And we do not regret it. I, I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. So it's picking up another speed here. Now you can see what the movement looks like inside the RV. I mean, I can see the floor moving a little bit here. But as far as what it feels like in the RV, here's a fan. And you can see it's not really moving on the, on the bucket that it's on. And then these things here, these are something that Heidi has, you know, hanging things. And those aren't moving at all. So it's not horrible. I mean, you don't necessarily feel it. I think it's going to go to another speed yet. Still picking up speed. Again, this is just like a small residential washer. It'd be just like a front loading washer that you have at your house. It does the exact same thing. And you can see the movement, a little bit of vibration down here. The reason we're showing you this is because we were interested in all these things and we didn't really see anything that covered this. You can hear the door here, you can hear the rattle of that. And you can see again, not, not really any movement here. I mean in the blinds you can see nothing's really moving. It's starting to drain pumps kicking on and putting water out the drain but again these things I mean these are loose these are all loose to the wall and you can see they they're not vibrating or banging or anything like that yeah this this is the noisiest part right here just the the door the being on these tracks I don't know I suppose let's see if you really wanted to go to bed at night <laughs> and you didn't want to hear it That's what it would sound like. So, I'm not going to tell you that every single load is like this. I'm not going to tell you that you don't have loads that might be really out of balance and heavy. It's even going up another speed yet again. You can hear now that's part of the washer itself that's making that noise. Now we're getting a vibration. You can see that here. Again, the doors, both of them making noise. 
and that is definitely high speed at this point. Both of these are actually make, is making noise now, so you can hear them, even with them latched. I'm sure I could do something about that. <laughs> I could put a, you know, something right here, and that would take care of all that noise. But I do want to, I, I do want you to know, it, it will make noise whenever it's spinning. Um, this is definitely high speed at this point. Again, if we wanted to quiet this down, uh, as far as these doors making noise, we also, you, you just put maybe a microfiber or a washcloth or something in between them to be a little quiet. Um, also our washer, I'm sorry, our shower doors. If you don't have the shower door all the way open, you'll hear this too. Here, we'll go ahead and take one of my night shirts and put them in here, how about that? And you can see this thing's really cooking at this point. And you can hear it. But again, nothing out here crazy. No crazy vibration or anything. So... That's pretty much it. I think we'll have Heidi close this out then. As always, we hope to see you out here. Bye. Bye.